mga mensahe, nakakaintrigang mga pangungusap, nakakabahalang mga larawan. Ang tanong ng publikong sumusubaybay sa kanyang social media accounts, is Diana Menezes crying for help? June 8, araw ng Sabado, ginulat ng Brazilian model at part-time actress na si Diana Menezes ang online community dahil sa makahulugang posts nito sa kanyang Instagram account. Pangaabuso at karahasan sa kababaihan ang paksa ng mga ito. In successive cryptic posts over the weekend, Diana said the end at no to rape. Nasundan pa ito ng no to domestic violence, no to rape, at till death do us part. Ngunit ang lalong ikinabahala ng publiko ay ang in-upload nitong larawan, purportedly of her arm, with cuts and wounds, kasunod ang pahayag na real men don't use violence. Nasundan pa ito ng higit na nakakaalarmang post in which she said and we quote, Lord, please I can't take this anymore. I am myself here. Prayers are much appreciated. But sa totoo lang, thank you po Lord, I'm still alive. Unquote. Hindi malinaw kung sino o ano ang pinapatungkulan dito ng Brazilian native as if to address the growing concern of friends, colleagues, and netizens. Diana, in a lengthier Instagram post, stated and we quote, Time to speak up. My apologies to those who I had to ignore or not give details, even if I do, aside from looking dumb myself. I wish I had a CCTV, or if I knew, record would do. But ang sakit. It's a physical, sexual, and emotional pain that can't be explained. Besides, there are two sides of the coin, and I know the other side will fight for defense. Since there's bipolar order, things can be turned around. I had witnesses, but unfortunately, they're paid to keep quiet. Unquote. Noong nakaraang taon, ginulat ito ang publiko ng mamataan sa State of the Nation address ni Pangulong Aquino kasama ang kinatawan ng Cagayan de Oro City na si Jose Benjamin Benjo Binaldo. She claimed they were just dating then. November 2012, inamin ni Diana sa Philippine Entertainment Portal na engaged na sila ng kongresista. Posible raw maganap sa Enero o Pebrero 2013 ang kanilang kasal. But the anticipated event has yet to happen. Bagamat hindi tuwirang sinabi ni Diana na may pinagdadaanan sila ng kanyang nobyo, sinagot naman ito ni Binaldo sa isang statement na ipinadala sa Star Talk noong Webes. May pahintulot ni Diana ang nasaging pahayag. Binaldo said and we quote, Like any couple, Diana and I encounter problems. We try to resolve them privately. I have apologized to her and she accepted. On behalf of Diana's actions on social media, we seek the understanding of everyone regarding her posts on her advocacies seeking help and support. I believe that any woman, any foreigner who might be facing a situation worse than ours must find an avenue for the redress of her grievances in our country. Unquote. Kinumpirma rin ni Binaldo ang mga ulat na kasal na sila ni Diana sa Las Vegas. Pinaghahandaan na rin di umano ng dalawa ang mas malaking kasalan sa Pilipinas. Binaldo further stated and we quote again, Today, Diana and I have settled our differences. We are together out of love. We fought because of love. She has forgiven me because she truly loves me. I am truly blessed. We thank our friends and relatives for their patience and support. We thank everyone for respecting our privacy. Unquote. Hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa humaharap sa media si Diana. Ngunit kahapon sa Instagram, nag-upload ito ng larawan nilang mag-ina. Ang huling statement ni Diana. And life goes on. Back to work with mama. Unquote. Walang takot sasabihin ng Star Talk. Outgoing Congressman Benjo Binaldo's lengthy statement raises more questions than answers. Hanggat di nabibigyang linaw mismo ni Diana Menezes ang kanyang mga sinabi sa social media. Check na magpapatuloy ang bulong-bulungan at mga haka-haka. Walang takot sasabihin ng Star Talk. Isang sensitibong usapin ang domestic violence. Abuse of women in particular must be condemned in the strongest terms possible. Ngunit bago tayo buko ng mga konklusyon, bago tayo matoksong manghusga, alamin muna natin ang buong kwento. 
Makinig muna tayo sa sasabihin ng lahat ng sangkot na tao. Dahil ang batayan ng patas na pagsusuri sa isyo ay ang pagkakaroon ng sapat na kaalaman sa tunay na pangyayari.